Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Ask an Action Coach. This week, we are in the final throes of our series on the top 10 failures in leadership is based on the book Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Jackie and I, we were just talking about numbers nine and 10. And it made me think of an experience I've had where I go into a restaurant and the person waiting on me, she does such an amazing job and cares so much about the customers that we simply assumed she was the owner. And I was hoping you might talk a little bit about that, and what that means with number nine and 10. Absolutely. That is a great analogy for what we're talking about. Number nine and 10 are emphasis of authority on leadership and emphasis of title. So what does that mean in, the, in today's world? What that means is that as leaders, if we have to say, I'm the CEO and I have the I have all the authority in the world. If you have to tell people that, then that there's no leadership there. You're just ha if you have to continually tell people that, there's an issue. Because the real key is is are you acting that way? If people can see by your actions, like you assumed that the waitress was the owner based on her actions, when in fact she wasn't. Right. So based on your actions as a leader, to those people who are listening here, how, how will people know that you're the owner? How do people know that you have the authority without having to tell them? So if you have to continuously tell your team that those two things, then there's that's a moment, uh, a great growing moment where you can take a look at yourself and say, all right, what is my, why do I have to keep reinforcing that? How is my behavior getting people to not see that? Right? So part of this is really a looking within. All of the 10, 10 uh, causes of bad leadership are all things to look within. But really, if you, if you find yourself having to emphasize your authority and your title, then something, something about your behavior with your team is leading you to do that and not your actions. So what are some of the actions that you could do, right? To help you let people know or to so so that people assume one is having empathy one is having understanding of your job mm -hmm. one is is working to help your team remove any obstacles that they have in their way right so those are some actions and activities you can do so that people know that you're the owner and that in the implicit authority that goes with that mm -hmm. And wouldn't it be fun if your employees acted as the owner, just like this waitress did, yeah. so that nobody even knew who the owner was? That's even better because that says uh, my team is taking ownership for their results and therefore I will have a great company and a great place to work. I love that. I love the thought of that, you know, being such a good owner that your team takes ownership too. Yep. Awesome. This has been such a fantastic look inward with the top 10 failures of reasons for failure in leadership. And if you are, uh, if you're out there and you have a question you'd like to ask an action coach, you can do that by clicking on the link above. If you've got a private question you'd like to ask an action coach, we can set up a call between you and Jackie. And if you'd like a complimentary business diagnostic to see if coaching is a logical step for you and your business right now, we'd be happy to do that too. We are available for you. We want to be your resource to help you grow your business, right? Thank you again, Jackie. And I'm excited to see where we turn Ask an Action Coach to next. Okay.